What is going on everyone? So I'm at the campground. We are at Potato Creek Campground this weekend. It's an awesome, awesome campground. I'm really liking this place. The campground itself is super nice. Only got to hit a couple of trails today. More to come on that. Anywho, I want to talk to you about this little baby right here. So years ago, in one of our campers, we installed an Oxygenics and we absolutely loved it. And now that we have the smaller camper, we have a 31 gallon freshwater tank. And we've been coming to these state parks pretty much every weekend. And of course, just burning through our water. And these, if I remembered, I remembered improve your water. Um, basically, they amplify by um, adding oxygen to your water. So what they say they do is use less water make sure make sure water and tanks last longer so i picked one of these up and we're going to do a little experiment this weekend and i'm going to bring you along you're going to get fast forwarded the next part of the video you're going to see will be later on this weekend and then the end of the video will be the end of the weekend the goal is in this camper with my wife and i this is our uh uh flagstaff uh, 20 FBS if you haven't seen a video on it I'm gonna do another walkthrough of it in case you missed it I may do that this weekend anyway 31 gallon fresh tank and we've been able to both take a shower Friday night both take a shower Saturday night and then we've had enough water left Sunday morning to probably take one more if we wanted it's it's pretty close um, doing some dishes flushing the toilet using the sink to brush your teeth, wash your hands, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go install this real quick. It's Friday night. Once I get it installed, I'll show you it all installed. It's super, super easy to install. I'll show you it all installed and then uh, do a follow up. And at the end of the weekend, we'll do a very unscientific test and see how much water we have left. So yeah, there we go. Stay tuned. I guess I could have showed the install, but it would have been like two seconds. It was literally that easy. Just screw, unscrewed the old one, screwed this in, screwed it into right here. And then I'm actually using the existing shower mount that we had. It came with a new one, but I'm gonna to try to use this one and see how it works. That way the event ever got rid of the camper or something, we can put the original shower head back in and it would be like factory. So next is how it works over the weekend, which you'll immediately get to see, but I'm gonna to have to wait on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from our camping trip. Unscientific study one done. So same amount of days, uh, all that good stuff. Tank was full, full when we left, just like the other times. We actually managed to get two additional showers using the oxygenics while we were there. And when I was dumping the tanks, I dumped the fresh water. So it cleans that out and you should always leave that open. If you didn't know, uh, let air get in there so it doesn't mildew or anything. But there was actually a little bit of water left. I do say a little bit of water left. So my wife and I had the idea for unscientific experiment number two, which was we have a six gallon water tank, hot water tank. So we turned on the oxygenics, hot water, and started a timer to see how long it would take to run out of that six gallons of hot water. And then now I waited until the hot water tank was full again. And I hooked up the old original faucet and I'm doing the same test with a timer. So we know that we got two extra showers out of the oxygenics, but I'm curious to see like gallons per minute of hot water. Uh, and of course with this, I'm just running straight hot water, no cold water at all. So it's like scalding hot, something you wouldn't typically do. Um, and I'm not doing any military style in this, just literally turning it on and running until we run out of hot water. So here in a couple of minutes for me, instantly, once I come back on camera, you'll know exactly how much it took and hopefully i was able to put up a chart to kind of show you as well so stay tuned so as i stated before 
we managed to get two extra showers out of it and we had a little bit of additional water left. I have the results from our flow rate test and with the standard shower head to go through a full six gallon tank of hot water took three minutes and 44 seconds. So that means that it has a flow rate of 1.61 gallons per minute. Doing the same with the oxygenics, it took 5 minutes and 52 seconds to run out of the same amount of hot water, which sets that flow rate at 1.02 gallons per minute. So... Between the two very unscientific tests, I think it's now safe to say that we definitely got more water usage out of the oxygenics than we did the standard showerhead. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did want to mention, and hopefully I remember to put something at the beginning of the video, that I was not paid for this. This product was not sent to me uh, to do a video on. I purchased this with my own money. Um, so I had no outside influence in this whatsoever. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, maybe share, comment below what you thought. Or if you have an Oxygenics and you've also experienced something similar with yours. Happy camping.